Hey, what's up, Shaking Bus, and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we will talk to you guys about stream nutrition. Not eating the stream, but however, the behavioral aspects of streams feeding as well. So stay tuned to the end of the video. You can actually see that the, uh, the leaves are actually, you know, uh, being consumed as well. I think they are picking on the uh, biofilm of the plant and that's the reason why you know some of the plants uh, like for example whenever there's leaves like uh, that is decaying over here you can actually see that the leaves that uh, you know turning brown and the streams will actually pick on them and more, more often than not they are actually uh, feeding on the biofilm that is actually on there uh, in some of my previous video I actually show you guys this tank where there is really a huge consumption of the uh, plant uh, the plant could not grow fast enough so the core has uh, died, died back and actually you can see there are still live roots but you know the plant is actually uh, uh, you know, gone already in this state <coughs> so you know um, in terms of behavior you can actually see from this this, uh, this tank over here that the streams you know when they are consuming the behavior is that they do not really uh, become aggressive uh, however you can see that uh, the reason is because we have been feeding them with uh, the breeder select and they are individually fed so that you know the congregation where a lot of streams are being uh, coming into one that is being uh, removed as well i think one of the, the the good part of this is that it will cause un cause you no know, uh, it actually helps cause un un you know, unnecessary death uh, by accident you can actually see most of the streams when they feed they actually become you know become immobilized it, it feels like they are uh, they are in a trance state so this is some of the things that when they do feeding uh, that's, that's what they do uh, in terms of feeding. They do not go into an aggression mode. I think the aggression mode is, is when the food is scarce and then that's where they attack it. So you, you can see over here, you know, the streams technically, they, you, can, you can actually go move towards them. They do not actually move at all. They kind of like get immobilized in a sense. I'm just going to pan this out even further. You can actually see that there are some moving streams. You know, you can see some moving streams. However, you can actually see that most of them took one of the, the pallet and then they stopped moving totally. So it, it is an amazing, amazing sight to actually see them uh, in such a state that, uh, that when they are feeding, this is their, actually their natural behavior. So they do not uh, become aggressive when they feed. So I think that, that notion of aggression uh, during feeding, I think that has been uh, debunked in the sense that when we feed them these kind of pallets, uh, you can actually see that even with a lot of biofilm, with, with plants over here, with that pellet, they do not actually uh, become aggressive. So I think a lot of this can be seen over here. You can see even this tank with a lot of streams. I did not turn on the other light uh, on the other side because it's not time yet. So in terms of, uh, you can actually see they do not move at all. It's being fed, however, they do not move at all. It is a really an amazing sight. They, they do, I mean, they are alive and uh, they are feeding, it's just that they do not move. So each of them actually, uh, so in terms of the uh, behavior, they actually pick on one, they pick on one of the food and then they kind of like stay there uh, motionless and then they, they, they consume it uh, peacefully. I think that is the behavioral aspect of it. Uh, regardless whether, you know, um, what we fed, fed in the past, like, you know, the daily feed, I think the daily feed is a good feed that we actually use to uh, get them in, in, in front and then of course uh, doing some uh, videographies and photography, I think that will help a lot. Uh, but however, you know, when they actually do feed, you can actually see that they are very, very docile. They do not become aggress aggressive at all. And it is actually very, very good for streams like tiger streams because uh, predominantly they are very aggressive in the sense that they will attack and then they will hot the food and the dominant male or female will actually uh, continue to to dominate the, the tank and take take over the food or chase the rest away uh, from getting any of the food so with this actually it helps to uh, dispel a lot of this uh, this food uh, this aggression and especially for streams like tigers where they are predominantly very aggressive so what, what you are, I mean, the streams constantly have to, to graze on things. And that's the reason why, you know, uh, having biofilm, uh, using plants. So we don't use leaves because we have plants in there. So we don't use leaves. So 
the leaves, the, the plants actually act like a leaf, uh, a, a living leaf. And of course, uh, the moss mop as well. So we usually use moss mop and then they start to kind of like grow more and more over, over time. And then we do daily feeds as well. We also do the breeder select. So with all this very strong, uh, very high uh, protein uh, feed, it actually helps to increase, uh, you know, the, the, the mass, the, the, you know, the, the robustity of the stream as well, the health of the stream. And you can actually see that, you know, all of them again here, they are actually not really moving at all. Each and every single one of them will have one pellet and consuming them, you know, and these are really good. And these have probiotic as well. So in, in terms of the uh, uh, delivery is, is really good. So you can see every single one of them, they are not moving at all. Uh, it's really an amazing sight. So pan it over the other side. You can see it's all not moving at all. So it's really amazing how such, you know, uh, behavior has been, has been shown. Over here, you can see uh, these are some of my favorite snowfalls. And they are very spotty. And they are also, you can see that each of them have one, one pellet and they are really uh, being there, just consuming them. And it's, it's really, really, really nice to have that delivery of food uh, directly to them individually, knowing that all of them will actually have uh, a, a food. So there's no need to, really no need to fight for the food now uh, and they can really live, live peacefully. Uh, but definitely, you know, uh, this does not remove or remove any aggression in terms of mating behavior. Uh, during mating, it's still a, a, a challenge in a sense. Uh, however, I think uh, from a feeding perspective, this has been dispelled in the sense that uh, the food is now being introduced in a way that you they can actually uh, feed, you know, can actually feed and then be comfortable without having to fight and fend for their own food. So in terms of delivery, you know, we have uh, plants, I have mentioned we have plants, we have biofilm in there, we have the, 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 the feed, we have mosses. And then usually on this, you know, grow, grow up tank, once they grow up and then you can do some of this selective breeding, you can actually move them to another tank. So in terms of the quality of the feed, I think that is another aspect where we actually this, you can actually see that there are streams in there. It's just that the dark colored substrate is really uh, hiding them or camouflaging them. Uh, so in terms of uh, the food quality uh, of, of it, I think <clears throat> streams are generally omnivorous, meaning that they eat both plants and animals. So they, are, they consume every, every single thing in the sense that uh, as long as it's uh, plant material or there's no really a preference, uh, they are omnivorous, so they, they should actually get uh, as much of their nutrients from as a wide range of uh, plant products and of course uh, animal products as well. <coughs> so for example over here you know uh, more often than not we actually use the, the Kalex ball for more biofilm because biofilm in the wild is what makes uh, which is their natural feed and there is a lot of uh, there's like for example uh, some food in the in the stream however I think you know uh, the streams will not be the very first one to actually consume the the if there's any food that is floating around in the in the water column because uh, you know fishes fishes are much faster so they actually uh, feed all the whatever available food in the, in the in the water column and then you know when it comes down to the bottom that's where the uh, the streams actually start to feed and that is that is what is naturally occurring in the wild as well in nature it is made like that the, the fishes will actually get the, the food first so the fishes will get the food first because the fishes are much faster so they are they can consume all the fish, uh, all the food up here, up here first, and then at the bottom is where you know the streams actually have their their fair share of food. So in terms of um, food in the wild, biofilm, you know, plant materials are generally more uh, abundant. However, there's occasional, occasional, you know, sometimes there's a dead fish or there's a from dead streams or insect that fell into the water. That is where they actually get their additional uh, protein source as well so with that you know uh, we actually came come to the end of this video i really enjoy you know sharing all this information with you a bit of nuggets of uh, information knowledge to actually give you more perspective you know a different perspective of how we actually can actually uh, provide more value for our streams as well 
So thank you very much for watching this video. For those who like this video, please remember to give a thumbs up. And for those who are new to this video, please remember to subscribe. And until next time, peace out.